Hi there, Jeff from Deep Cycle Battery coming at you during this crazy El Nino winter weather storm here in San Diego. Uh, we're all getting dried out. Last night was crazy. And in fact, driving home last night, I noticed the uh, roads were pretty flooded. People were getting stuck. And it made me realize there would be a good topic to talk to you about power outage. It's not uncommon that someone will hit a power line, uh, maybe on your street during this, uh, this bad weather, and knock out your power. And uh, this is uh, maybe a little punch list of what you could do right now while you do have power to prepare for that, God forbid, that it should happen. The things that you're going to want to do is you need to keep your house warm, you have to have lights, uh, you want to keep your food cold, and you want to have medication on hand prepared. The whole topic of this is being prepared, doing something now while you can. So let's tackle the thing about lights. This is my favorite subject because um, a lot of people that have solar on their house, that they have a, a company come and install it, they think that the grid goes down, they're going to have power. That's 100% incor incorrect. If you have a grid-tight solar system, better speak to the company, if you think different, better speak to the company that did it. Because when the grid goes down, your house will go down also. Okay, I have solar in my house, and um, I have a hybrid system, and I have a grid-tight system. The grid-tight system absolutely will shut down when the grid goes down. So let's get that uh, taken care of, unless you have a hybrid system or you're totally off-grid. So let's, what do you do to keep your house lit? So nighttime comes, you have no power. A customer uh, gave me this idea many years ago when the grid totally failed here on the West Coast. This is a very inexpensive landscape light. You can get these at Walmart or Home Depot. This has a solar panel in front here that charges it during the daytime, and then at nighttime it comes on automatically. When the grid went down a few years ago, I actually pulled these out of my yard and we took this inside the house because it was very safe way to illuminate inside the house. Uh, I'm not a big fan of candles. In fact, I don't like candles in my house. I don't like bringing fire inside my house. That's not, uh, I don't think it's a very safe thing. These are 100% safe. Now, we haven't had a lot of um, sunlight for the last couple days. So if you uh, have these things and you're noticing they're not producing a lot of light at night, you may want to pull them into the garage and get them charged up in case the grid ever did go down. But these are very inexpensive. You can buy these, I'd buy a couple boxes of these. Make sure your kids have them in their room. And uh, these, are, these are awesome for illumination. What about a generator? Let's keep our food cold. If you do have a generator, good for you. If you don't have one, get one. And don't wait to get the gasoline for it. If the grid does go down or power is lost, you cannot go buy gas. So you're going to want to have some gasoline right now and have your generator on standby with some good cord. And please don't use really small extension cord. You want to use like a 12 gauge heavy duty construction type extension cord. I see all kinds of times people try to run a lot of power with a small gauge extension cord. It's not safe and you're, you're going to cause all kinds of problems. Let's talk about keeping warm. So let's say that the power is out and you have no way, and you have, let's say you live in an apartment and you have no way to keep warm because you don't have a fireplace. Now is a good time to get some blankets. I know it sounds simplistic, but hey, get some blankets right now. Um, medication. If, you are, uh, if you're medicated uh, dependent, then now's a good time to stock up on some before things happen. Um, and the last topic is going to be about having a house that you use an electric garage door entry 100%. I know at my house that's the only way we seem to enter the house is through the garage door. And it made me realize that I need another way in case the power does go out to get into my house. They actually have backup power for garage door openers. Okay. That's something that easily Home Depot or Dixie Line does sell. It's a very simple thing. But think about it ahead of time. Um, have other ways to get into your house. Anyway, I hope these tips helped you. Um, I do have one last thing I want to talk to you about. When the grid, the power does go out, a lot of us need to stay in communication and find out what's going on with the news. When your mobile device or your laptop is no longer battery powered, and I mean the battery goes dead, you need a way to charge it. They sell... A lot of companies sell these battery chargers. This is a lithium ion battery pack and it has a USB port right here that you plug in your phone charger. You plug in your mobile device and you can charge it for, oh, I think with days and days with, uh, with just a mobile device. They don't take much power. This is a very nice lithium uh, battery pack. It, it stays charged for about six to eight months on its own. Now, you will want to fully charge this as soon as you have it, so you don't want to, we don't want this to be low on charge, okay? But again, it holds its charge for months and months and months. This one, this particular one actually will jumpstart a car. I've done a video on this one before. I'll just show you again real fast. If your car dies, uh, you can actually plug this jumper uh, pigtail into the, the pack and actually connect your battery to this to your batteries. Pot, red's positive, black's negative. Cat, uh, about 30 seconds, turn the key, 
fire up your car, take this off real fast, boom, you got power. I have friends that actually have this and they go around and they assist other people, uh, specifically in the desert. They use this for uh, jump starting quads and dirt bikes and you know sand buggies and stuff like that. Anyway, but this works really good for your mobile device. It's about, uh, the lowest end one I think is about 120 bucks. They sell, they sell these uh, also that don't have the jump start uh, accessory just for, uh, for mobile devices. But anyway, be prepared. The whole topic of this is, hey, it's, this winter storm's not going away anytime soon. Be prepared. Get your stuff together now. Um, get some flashlights, get some alkaline batteries, get some of these landscape lights, get a generator, get some gas, and you don't need to do all this at once, but slowly start picking this stuff up. If you're at the Home Depot, pick up some of these lights, pick up, uh, pick up some flashlights. Just, just be ready, okay? Anyway, that's my tip from Jeff at Deep Cycle Battery coming at you, and you have a good day. Talk to you soon.